in Mexico, the elite, and I think this is the same thing for pretty much every country on earth, but especially in Mexico. And basically the elite have so much power that they can easily have their children star in, in A-list movies and TV shows in Mexico. I was looking into this uh, one actress and then I found out that her her grandfather is a billionaire and her father is a multimillionaire and will partially inherit the grandfather's billion dollar company. Basically, this girl that's an actress and her dad are gonna inherit part of the grandfather's billion dollar company and they are well connected they are heavily protected they're basically royalty and that's how it is in, in Mexico they're pretty much untouchable and you could say that billionaires are pretty much untouchable everywhere but especially in a third world country that is extremely corrupt and I was also looking into this other actress her name is Tessa Ia. And I found out that her, basically, her parents are wealthy. Her mom is an actress, and then her great grandmother is an actress. Her sister is an actress. And she rubs shoulders with extremely powerful people. She has really good connections. She is a privileged Mexican. She's a millionaire in Mexico, according to. A celebrity net worth. She starred as uh, the girlfriend of Rafael Caro Quintero in, in the Netflix original show Narcos Mexico. And that's how it is with a lot of people in Mexico. Like, it's really hard or rare for a normal person to become a celebrity on their own without having connections. And that's the same thing in, in, in America, but more so in Mexico.